Do you know what your biggest problem is? It's probably not what you think, and this is something that most, if not all of us, do. It's not your only problem, but it is likely the problem that is wreaking the most havoc and causing the most difficulties for you in your life. And we're gonna, today we're gonna talk about what that is and what we can do to start turning this one around. If you're new to me, and this is the first time we're connecting, my name is Julia Christina, and I am a registered therapist, researcher, and online course creator. I have a master's degree in counseling psychology, and I work to help men and women get through the crap that is holding them back so they can like themselves and their lives more every day. And have you ever felt like you missed the day in school where they were teaching people how to do life well? Where they were teaching you everything that you needed to know to handle whatever life had for you and to be able to take it in stride and to be able to get through it and deal with it and not let it ruffle you or throw you off or upset you or bring you down too much. Or maybe you feel like you missed the day in school where they taught people how to be comfortable and confident with themselves, how to feel good in their own skin, because you sometimes look around and see that most people around you seem to be able to do life way better than you. And you don't know what's going on because you sometimes have these feelings that come up. You feel anxious, you feel down, you feel depressed, you feel depleted, you feel discouraged, you feel like you suck, you feel like you're no good. Maybe you feel like that a lot of the time. And you look around and wonder why isn't anybody else struggling like this? Or why isn't anybody else struggling this much? They seem on the outside to be doing so well. And then maybe you think to yourself, if people only knew what was really going on with me, they would go running for the hills. If they really knew what I was thinking or feeling, sometimes, or maybe even a lot of the time, they would not even want to stick around. So then what happens? We're struggling. We're feeling down, depressed, depleted, discouraged, lonely, sad, whatever it is that we're feeling. And we're having this experience and maybe something happened or maybe nothing really happened. Maybe you're just feeling a certain way. And these, these big emotions, these difficult, uncomfortable, sucky emotions are coming up for you and this is what they are and then what do you do you tell yourself things like you're pathetic what's wrong with you for feeling this way why can't you just get it together what's wrong with you everyone else is doing all right everyone else can handle things and you're weak you're pathetic you're a loser you're no good and so here was this feeling whatever it is that you were struggling with in that moment and now you have put all of this criticism all of this judgment all of this shame around it and it's become this big thing that comes in and almost feels like it's swallowing you whole. So let's talk a little bit more about this because interestingly enough, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Sigmund Freud. So if you're familiar at all with psychology or even just have been going through life in, in paying attention and listening and learning anything, you probably know who Freud is. You've heard of Freud. But what you don't probably know is that he had a colleague named Alfred Adler. And Adler and Freud actually were psychologists at the same time. And Freud was the one who was talking all about how all our issues come from our parents and that all of our stuff is about these unmet sexual needs that we have at these different milestones in our lives. And that's where all of our big issues come from. And Adler stepped in and he said, I don't know about that. I don't really think that it all comes back down to mommy and daddy issues. It all comes back down to this sexual stuff. I think that there's something deeper going on for us as human beings. And what I think is that a lot of us really struggle because we feel ashamed of our struggles, because we think that we're supposed to be perfect and have it all together, but we don't. And so we feel like we're flawed or broken or no good. So then what are people supposed to do? How do we get through this? If this is our biggest problem that we think that it's a problem to have problems, what do we do? And what Adler said is one of the biggest things that we can do to get through a lot of our biggest struggles is learn to have the courage to be imperfect. What would that be like if we allowed our spa ourselves space to be human beings, to not be judging and criticizing and berating ourselves for struggling, for not thinking that it's a problem to have 
problems. So then what does this look like practically speaking? What are you supposed to do when you're struggling, when you're going through something? And I have another, another video on here that I'm gonna to link to that goes a little bit more deeply into this and gives a few more strategies on how to deal with it. But for now, what I want you to do next time you're going through something in some kind of uncomfortable or, or negative or just yucky emotion comes up for you, here's what I want you to do. I want you to do nothing. I want you to just allow yourself to acknowledge that feeling. I don't want you to do anything. I don't want you to judge yourself, to try and tell yourself to stop feeling that way, to criticize yourself by telling yourself you're weak or pathetic or no good because you're struggling. I want you to do nothing. I want you to just notice and observe with curiosity and interest why you might be feeling this way or what's going on with you in this moment, or even just leave it be, just say, this is how I'm feeling. Acknowledge the feeling for what it is without creating all of this other stuff, all of this other junk around it, because that is what spirals, spirals us down. That's what gets us stuck. That's what keeps us just sort of in our stuff and unable to get out of it. So our biggest problem is that we think that it's a problem to have problems. And in order to get past that problem, we have to acknowledge that all of us as human beings struggle sometimes. It doesn't mean that we're bad or weak or pathetic or no good. We need to learn to be more mindful about our problems, about what we're going through, about what we're feeling. And mindful means noticing them with curiosity or just holding a space for them. And you can learn how to be more mindful. For those of you who are not really familiar with mindfulness or those of you who are, I have another video about what mindfulness is and I'm gonna link to that as well. And I also have for you a 10 minute guided mindfulness exercise that you can do. I'll put the link below that's yours for free. And it's an exercise that will really help you to learn how to observe and notice your feelings without attaching all of this other stuff around it. It will actually teach us to learn how to have the courage to be imperfect. Thanks for being here. Like the video, subscribe, share it out, leave your comments. I love hearing from you what you thought about this and tell me how it goes for you if you start just noticing what you're feeling and not criticizing and judging yourself for feeling it, calling the feeling out, letting yourself just sit with it instead of creating all this stuff around it that will cause you to get stuck in it. I'm so glad that you are here and also make sure you join my Facebook group, goodformegroup.com. There are tons of deep, insightful, su supportive, encouraging men and women. It's incredible community in there. Join us right after this, goodformegroup.com. See you there. Take good care.